Hi everybody. You know, I'd like to talk a little bit about refretting guitars. A lot of times when you're playing guitars and you're just doing club gigs or playing at home, you don't notice the frets wearing out. Frets are like tires. When your car starts chirping or sliding on the road, it's gentle at first. Your, your tires don't all explode at once. Frets are like that too. Frets are like trucks with big loud engines that drive by when you're running a video. So if you look at this right in there, you can see how worn out those frets are. And they're, they're kind of, um, yeah, did I swear? I'm sorry. Um, they get flattened out. So as you're playing, especially first position, you'll notice that one of the strings is a little off. It, it rattles a little bit. Remember, your string goes back and forth, also goes in an elliptical fashion like this. So there's several um, things going on. And if you look again at some of these taller frets here too, you can see not only they are divoted, but they flatten out. On this guitar, I notice that when I'm playing a D chord, that one of the strings, I have to really press down hard. I have a piano at home. On that piano, one of the keys is kind of floppy and loose. So when I hit that chord, I really have to exaggerate that. I am used to doing it on this guitar, but it's finally come to the point where it's just time to replace it. There's nothing like a fresh set of frets. In relation to a vintage guitar, you can see how worn out this guitar is. If this guitar was really mint, I would be hesitant to replace any frets. You don't want to do it, but on a guitar that's already worn out quite a bit, it's not as big a deal. So I'm just making this quick video reminding you that we do fret work and we will put the greatest care in it. Uh, I, I've talked to a lot of older guys about the smaller Gibson frets too. They have a different sound. Um, stainless steel frets, they don't wear out. They're very expensive to install, but they alter your sound. We do try to put in the exact same frets. You get into some cheap imports, you'll find that like on Mexican guitars, Korean guitars, the frets are cheaper. There's a heavy brass content and they wear out. Those factories do that so they can install frets, clip them and file them quickly. If you had stainless steel frets and everything, it would take forever to get it done. So your cheaper guitars, your Mexican guitars you drag out on the road, they'll, those frets will wear out quicker than your American guitars, which generally have nickel silver content and they're a little uh, more um, firm, they're denser. They won't wear out quite as quickly. And it's always on your plain G strings. These are like cheese cutters. They're thick and they kind of cut in. You'll notice it most on the G strings. You'll notice it for people that, that bend a lot of strings. And last thing I'm gonna say, you could look at an old guitar and see a guy's favorite licks. This guy played a lot of stuff in E and D. Just saying, easy to sing. So there you go. This guitar is going into the shop. It's my personal guitar. I understand how hard it is to make that decision, but there is nothing like a fresh set of frets, especially after they've worn out. You might play this guitar through an amp with distortion and not notice it, but through a clean guitar, through a clean amplifier, you, or, or through headphones or recording, you start noticing those false notes that come out with bad frets, or, or just not that true sound when you bend it. So there you go, that's all I have to say. Kind of cool looking though, isn't it? I kind of like 335s with these uh, trapeze tailpieces. I know I'm alone in that.